Hello and welcome aboard the trip train. Today we are going to go back into the past and look at some of the great movies by our three favorite comedians, Seth Rogen, Adam Sandler, and Will Ferrell. We have a trivia event coming up next week at 7 o'clock at Movement Brewery. Under the team, Thirsty for the Answer is hosting a show there that we will be training for and they are doing the theme of these particular comedians. This game will be set up just like Jeopardy. There will be six categories. Each comedian owns two categories that we'll be asking questions on. I will read the question, provide five seconds that you will see on the bottom right hand corner. Once those questions, once those seconds are finished, I will provide the answer and we will mosey on through these questions. All right, let's get started on today's categories. The first two categories, Adam Sandler round one and Adam Sandler round two will be questions just based around Adam Sandler movies. Then we will move on to Will Ferrell round one and Will Ferrell round two for his movies. And then we will end the last two categories with Seth Rogen round one and round two. All right, let's get started. Top left, Adam Sandler, round one. In which Adam Sandler movie does Bob Barker make a cameo? The correct answer is Happy Gilmore. All right, Adam Sandler, round one for 200. In the movie Billy Madison, what snack food does Billy love most? That is Snack Packs. All right, for 300. Rob Schneider plays what surfer dude in 50 First Dates? He plays as Ula. All right, Adam Sandler round one for 400. In Billy Madison, Theresa Merritt played the maid named who? Her name was Juanita. All right, Adam Sandler round one for 500. In Happy Gilmore, where does Chubbs tell Happy to go when he feels upset? He tells Happy to go to his happy place. All right, round one for Adam Sandler for 600, closing it out in The Wedding Singer. What will Julia's married name be if she marries Glenn? It is Julia Gulia. All right, on to round two for Adam Sandler. Next category for 100. In which movie does Adam Sandler's character pretend to be gay with his friend in order for his friend's to children to keep their insurance benefits? That movie is called I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. All right, round two for 200. Nature called Look Who Answered is the tagline to what movie? That is the movie Big Daddy. Next question for 300, Adam Sandler, round two. In what movie did Adam get sent from hell to earth to bring back his two brothers? That is the movie Little Nicky. Next question, Adam Sandler round two for 400. Which amazing movie is Lenny Fetter from? That movie is called Grown Ups. Mage. All right, Adam Sandler round two for 500. In what movie does Adam Sandler play a shoemaker who finds a magical sewing machine? That movie is called The Cobbler. All right, closing out Adam Sandler for 600. Adam Sandler plays a hotel handyman who can tell magical stories to his niece and nephew in what movie? That movie is called Bedtime Stories. 
All right, on to the next comedian actor, Will Ferrell, round one for 100. What was the name of Ron Burgundy's channel from Anchorman? That channel was channel four, K KVWN. All right, Will Ferrell for 200. What fashion item did Will Ferrell, playing as Magatu, claim he invented in Zoolander? That is the piano key necktie. All right, Will Ferrell for 300. In old school, what was Frank the Tank's preferred thing to do while drunk? It was streaking. Will Ferrell for 400. What was the name of the company that Will Ferrell and John C. Riley star in the movie Step Brothers? That company was called Prestige Worldwide. All right, Will Ferrell for 500. Which movie did Will Ferrell, as Doug, with his brother Chris, Catan, who played as Steve, eventually opened a disco club of their own? That was Night at the Roxbury. All right, we'll, closing out round one, Will Ferrell for 600. In the movie, The Campaign, what does Cam Brady, played by Will Ferrell, end up punching? He punched a baby. All right, round two for Will Ferrell for 100. Where does Buddy the Elf's biological father work? He works at the Empire State Building. His father's name was Walter Hobbs. All right, round two for 200. In the movie Semi-Pro, what is the name of Jackie Moons, who played by Will Ferrell, his hit song? That hit song was called Love Me Sexy. All right, Will Ferrell round two for 300. In the movie Blades of Glory, what is the name of the deadly move performed by Will Ferrell as Chaz, Michael Michaels, and John Heater as Jimmy McElroy? That deadly move was called the Iron Lotus. All right, round two for 400. In the movie Daddy's Home, who does Brad Whitaker, played by Will Ferrell, hit after botching a half-court shot? He hits a cheerleader. In his second shot, he actually hit a kid in a wheelchair because he tried to throw the ball twice. All right, Will Ferrell, round two for 500. In the movie Stranger Than Fiction, what job does Will Ferrell's character have? His job was an IRS agent. All right, closing out Will Ferrell, round two for 600. In which action comedy movie did Will Ferrell team up with Mark Wahlberg to play New York City detectives? That movie was called The Other Guys. All right, on to the last comedian slash actor, Seth Rogen, round one for 100. What Seth Rogen movie involved him as a slacker and a one night stand with a media personality? That movie was called Knocked Up. Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen round one for 200. 
What movie does Seth Rogen play as Sal, who works at a big box store with Steve Carell? That movie was called 40 Year Old Virgin. All right, Seth Rogen for 300. What movie did Seth Rogen play as Dale Denton, a lazy process server and recreational marijuana smoker with James Franco, who played as Saul? That was the movie Pineapple Express. All right, Seth Rogen, round one for 400. What animated film involves Seth Rogen as Frank in a hilarious supermarket movie? That was the movie Sausage Party. All right, Seth Rogen, round one for 500. Who did Seth Rogen's voice acted for in the animation Kung Fu Panda? He voice acted for Mantis. All right, Seth Rogen, round one for 600. Seth Rogen played as Ronnie Bernhardt in this movie about a mentally unstable vigilante mall cop who attempts to join the police academy and pursues a flasher, tormenting female visitors to the mall where he works. That movie is called Observe and Report. All right, on to the last category, Seth Rogen round two for 100. Seth Rogen played a sporting goods manager in this movie that involved Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. That movie was Step Brothers. All right, Seth Rogen round two for 200. Seth Rogen voiced as this animated Disney character helping to save the Pride Lands from the hyenas. He voice acted for Pumbaa. All right, Seth Rogen round two for 300. Seth plays as a Mac as Mac Ragnar as part of a couple who come in conflict with a fraternity that has recently moved to the next door in what movie? That movie is called Neighbors. All right. Seth Rogen round two for 400. Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Swank played two lifelong friends struggling to pay pills and decide to make an adult, an adult film to raise some cash in what movie? That movie is called Zack and Mary Make a Porno. Seth Rogen round two for 500. Seth Rogen plays as Officer Michaels in what super good movie? That is the movie Super Bad. All right, closing out the game in the last category, Seth Rogen, round two for 600. Seth Rogen played a journalist who reunites with his former babysitter, who is the Secretary of the State, in what romantic comedy? That movie was called Long Shot. All right, thanks for boarding the Triv train today and learning a little more about some of our three favorite comics. Please like and su subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any themes coming up you would like me to do some research for you on, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.